Hi guys, welcome back to London's Eleven. I'm here with Claire today, who's going to be my model. Anybody that knows me will tell you how much I love Christmas. I'm crazy for Christmas. And we're going to be doing a Christmas cupcake colour melt today. The first thing we need to do with Claire's hair is a full head lightener. Now as you can see she has quite a long regrowth. She hasn't had a hair lightened for a long time. So what I'm going to do is pack all of her regrowth, except for the half an inch near the scalp, into foil with lightener. The foil will conduct the heat and make sure that we get a maximum lift. There's nothing to be frightened of when dealing with an extra long regrowth. It's just a case of following steps and using the knowledge and the products that you have to the best advantage. So I'm halfway through my back sections here and I've left this foil open so that you can have a look inside. I've basically painted everything that is going to be tricky to lift. So I've left out half an inch of the root and I've left out the ends which are slightly porous so they're going to, I'm going to lift those, deal with those after I've dealt with the mid lengths. As you can see here I've folded my foils up and the reason for that is that it conducts heat, they will conduct the heat a lot better. Even just touching them now, they are quite warm. Um, I have done this technique before where I've laid one piece of foil on top of another, but I find it the hair just doesn't lift as much. And I'm going to be using Pravana pastels on Claire's hair to create our Christmas cupcake look. And as you guys out there know, we want to get Claire as near to pale yellow as possible. Um, and for that, we need the heat to get that maximum lift. I just wanted to show you a close up here of one of my sections that I'm taking to put in the foils. The rule of thumb for this technique is, if you can't see your hand through your section, your section is too thick. You need to make sure that when you're applying the product to the weft of hair, that it's going to be completely saturated. So you can see, as I've said before, I'm avoiding a half inch of the root there. And I'm just painting my lightener onto anything that needs that extra lift. I'm using Redkin Flash Lift here with 20 volume. And as you can see, I like my foils to be quite short and I wrap the hair into the foil. Take the ends out and just seal the foil up. So that's Claire's full head of back-to-back -back foils finished. There's three things to remember when doing this technique. The first one is to take very clean sections. I've worked in a brickwork pattern here on, on Claire's head. You can work in straight lines, it's entirely up to you, but you must work in clean sections. The second thing is how big your section is. Keep the sections really fine. If you think the section is too big, it's too big. Make it smaller, put an extra foil in. And the third thing is to make sure that you saturate the section with lightener before you wrap it up in the foil. Now it's time to let these process, then rinse them all off, dry off Claire's hair, and then tackle the root area. After shampooing and rough drying, I'm now applying Claire's root. And I've got fresh flash lift and 20 volume here in my bowl. I sprayed a little bit of Redkin One United onto her mids and ends before starting. I like to use a short stubby bristle brush to apply my regrowth, especially when I'm working with lighter. And my top tip is to intermittently wipe the end 
of the tint brush with a wet wipe, just a normal wet wipe. And that takes off any extra product to make sure that it doesn't transfer onto the ends of the hair. So after the roots comes the ends. But before I apply those, I'm just gonna add one ml of Olaplex number one to my lightener formula. Seven hours later, and we now have our canvas ready for our Christmas cupcake. So I was inspired for this look by a cupcake that I saw in a Soho bakery. And that cupcake's frosting had five different pastel tones. So the five tones that I've got here to recreate that look are Blissful Blue, Mystic Mint, I've got Pretty in Pink here, which I'll be using on Claire's scalp and throughout the colour melt. Then I've got a little bit of Vivid Yellow, five mils that I've mixed with clear, that's a whole tube of clear there. And then I've got two mils of Violet Vivid that I've mixed with a whole tube of clear. That's an incredibly intense tone of Violet in the Vivids. So you only need to use a tiny little bit with the clear to get a pastel result. So after 40 minutes of processing, I rinse Claire's hair. I'm completely in love with this Christmas cupcake.
Thanks for watching Christmas Cupcake. Have a fantastic Christmas and a really happy new year. I'll see you in 2017 with lots more videos, so stay tuned.